Good morning. Welcome to a Wednesday morning edition of Mornings with Stanley. It's been a good morning. Had our prayer group this morning. Had breakfast on a bun from Whataburger. There is no better breakfast <laughs> than that. Love it. And took the dogs for a walk. The house, the house got exterminated today, so I haven't been to the office yet. And I'm about to head out to Fort Worth to the hospital to visit my good friend Sam before he gets moved to rehab. So, Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. He's such a funny boy. Lucy's in the other room. They woke me up in the middle of the night when it started storming, and I just... Rolled over and went back to sleep. If I thought it was going to... I mean, I guess if there had been a tornado, I guess we were under a watch. I could have died. <laughs> but I chose sleep. <laughs> and the dogs probably are not happy with me. <laughs> but they, they're quick to forgive, I guess. Okay, Stanley. I'm going to put you out. Good boy. Okay, Wednesday of week 42, over you and the Lord. But we beseech you, brethren, to respect those who labor among you and are over you and the Lord and, and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. First Thessalonians 5, 12 and 13. Over you and the Lord. Isn't this a contradiction? Can there be anyone over you in the Lord? Isn't the earliest Christian creed decisive? Jesus is Lord. There is one Lord. Are there underlings? Yes, it would be simple if we had to obey Christ and him alone. He is so trustable. I said to a lady missionary at, a confer at conference time who was troubled over her proposed appointment. Well, surrender to Christ and trust him. Yes, she snapped. I can trust Christ, but I can't trust the bishop and the district superintendent. Oh, have I ever heard that before? <laughs> it is the underlings who are off in the rub. The answer? We must turn again to that decisive verse. Be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. That's Ephesians 5.21. You submit to Christ primarily and fully, and then out of reverence for him, you can submit to others for his sake. When you do it for his sake, you save your self-respect. You are not now submitting to injustice. You are submitting to injustice for his sake. That rings out the whole procedure of victory. You are on top even when you are underneath, for you are morally and spiritually superior. This is one side. The other side, esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Look at them in love, not in rebellion. If you look at them in love, you can see the good qualities and not merely the point that rubs you. Don't magnify the point of irritation until the good is blotted out. Be at peace among yourselves. Don't give him a piece of your mind, for you will lose your own peace of mind. Peace within is better than position without. Choose peace. It passes understanding. Here's our prayer for today. Dear Father, I thank you for those who are over me in the Lord. Their burdens are heavy. Help me not to add to them. Make me easy to get along with according to Jesus Christ. I all need grace. I thank you. Amen. And our affirmation for the day, those who are over me in the Lord are working for his sake, so I shall obey for his sake. Jesus is Lord. <laughs>